Bells, que são a próxima atração aqui no palco alternativo. Tigan e Sarah, how are you guys doing? Welcome to Brazil! <laughs> We're so excited to be here. So, um, you've been in the music industry for a long time, and you've talked a lot about how sexist it could be. Do you still feel that, or do you feel that this is changing with the upcoming women talking about... <laughs> Did you answer this like a hundred thousand times? No, I just love that you just got right to it. Like, you're like... You're not like, oh, is this your first time? Like, you're just like, are people sexist still? Um, yeah, I, I think things are changing, but I also think that uh, the, there's still so much that has to happen. And um, we just try to be confident and strong and, and sort of uh, demand a certain kind of uh, equality and equity with our, with our male counterparts, you know, in bands and that sort of thing. And, um, and I think people are changing. It's very positive. É, eu perguntei para elas porque como elas estão na indústria da música há muito tempo e elas comentaram que bem no início da carreira é uma indústria muito sexista, muito machista e se isso ainda rola e daí rolou uma brincadeira tipo isso aí, você foi direto ao ponto e já perguntou isso sim, é uma parada que ainda acontece mas que está mudando e a gente espera que mude real oficial You guys seem to be in a very good point in your career uh, and you seem more comfortable even with the pop status Is that true? Yeah, I think, you know, it's sort of cliche, but I think it's just like getting older, you get more confident and more comfortable with who you are, and I think as artists, we feel very comfortable and very um, exploratory, like we're really trying different things, and we're very lucky that, that our fans seem to be getting it, and I think it's given us a lot more energy because we have something to look forward to, and, you know, as an artist, you always want to be challenging yourself and learning new stuff, so we're, we're, we're really enjoying it. Pop is really fun. It's a lot of work, though. You gotta run around, you gotta... I'm just used to just playing guitar, and now it's... There's a lot of work involved. <laughs> nice. Uh, comentei com elas que elas parecem estar muito mais confortáveis com essa sua, esse status de pop. E daí, cara, é, elas estão mesmo. Tem uma coisa de amadurecimento, de experiência, mas, cara, dá muito trabalho também. Tem uma coisa de não só tocar guitarra, mas de correr de um lado pro outro, dançar. Mas, enfim, tá tudo certo, tá tudo bem. Um, you guys are also known for standing up for... I hate spelling that because I always miss it and in English it's like LGBTQ. Okay, did it. Uh, how important is that? Like that artists such as yourself stand up for political and social rights and uh, to, you know, like enjoy that space and the voice you got to talk about something that actually matter. Thank you, by the way. <laughs> I think for us, we saw it as an opportunity to talk about ourselves, but also to uh, tell a story that doesn't get told very often. And especially when we started in 1999, there weren't very many women talking about being gay, and not certainly in the world that we were in, which was more like rock music. And, um, and maybe even still today, like there's lots of people now starting to talk about like, being bisexual and it's really cool like uh, even last week we, we saw Katy Perry um, at a big HRC event speaking about her sexuality in terms of being on a spectrum and um, it's important for us to to share that story but then also politically I think artists sometimes um, they have uh, power you know they can they can uh, peer pressure uh, political people or social norms and they can uh, I think they can have a big impact so that's what we want absolutely um... Bom, as meninas são conhecidas por falar muito sobre a causa LGBTQ. Odeio falar essa sigla, mas eu consegui de novo em duas línguas agora. E perguntei para elas sobre como é né, ter uma voz e alcançar tanta gente para conseguir levar esse discurso, enfim. É, quando elas começaram, é, isso não era muito uma pauta. Então, era, uma, era uma, uma abordagem bem diferente, mas é importante que as pessoas estão cada vez mais falando sobre isso. E, enfim, a, a esperança ainda existe. Uh, oh my god, I could talk to you guys forever. I mean, I, I'm gonna enjoy that nobody's cutting me off here and I'm just gonna go through my other questions that are just like, ah, and somebody knows a little Portuguese, guys. Yeah, you should really quiz me. I don't know how to do much, but uh, my girlfriend is from Brazil and I was telling you this, so she taught me, um, she was like, make sure you don't say Brazil, say Br Brazil. Um, and she taught me, actually I haven't practiced this one out loud with anyone since this morning, but she taught me to say, um, You um or you amo o Brasil. Right? Eu amo o Brasil. Eu, eu amo o Brasil. Very good. Okay. Yeah, it's a little clunky, but I hope the fans will appreciate it. Yeah. Like once they understand, once you get to the end of the sentence, they'll be like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Stick with me, folks. Stick, stick with me. It's you know what's funny is is that I really wanted to learn Portuguese, and I, I actually like was using um, Bitmoji, which is like this like you know whatever. It's really a hard language, and and my girlfriend was basically like, let's start with something easier. This one's hard for you. Yeah. Level one, please. Level one, yeah. Sim, eu falo um pouco de português, porque a namorada dela é do Brasil, então ela aprendeu a falar um eu amo o Brasil. Sabe que não se fala, hey Brasil, ela vai falar oi Brasil. Então, esperem aí, que vai ser, vai ser maravilhoso. Um, you guys share a lot of stuff, as sisters, as twins, as a band, and, and you share like a bunch of amazing stuff. Is there anything you wish to share as sisters in life? Like a dream. I mean, it's really funny because just this morning I was looking at the cassette tape that we made when we were 16 years old. As we had a band, it was called Plunk. Doesn't matter. But I was thinking, like, I don't know that we ever thought that having a career coming to South America, like, I don't think we even thought about it. It just seemed like an impossibility. And so I, every day I feel so uh, lucky that we're here. This is a dream. Yeah. <laughs> we're living it. <risos> é, falei para as meninas que elas dividem muitas coisas, elas dividem o mesmo rosto, uma banda, uma carreira, viagens, enfim, se tem alguma coisa que elas ainda têm vontade de dividir juntas e cara, é isso, assim, fazer turnês e quando elas gravaram a primeira cassete delas, elas não imaginaram que elas iam estar aqui fazendo uma turnê pela América Latina, pela América do Sul, tipo, é isso, this is the big dream. Thank you guys so much, I can stay here forever, man. I mean, we have a couch, we have sunglasses, it's all good. Rocket. Cool, we're not in the sun. Yeah. We can wear our jackets and still be cool. Love it. Thank you for having us. I can practice one more, one more Portuguese um, uh, word that I know. Um, I know, uh, obrigada. 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 Good. Pretty good, right? Yeah. You should try it, here. Obrigada. <laughs> awesome, thanks. <laughs> Que coisa mais querida essas gurias, olha só.